I'm going to hell. What is going on, you guys? It's Extreme here, and welcome back to another episode of my Road to Max Prestige, where before I get too far into this video, I just want to clarify right now, this is not a re-upload. All right. <laughs> um, uh, what was your name? George. You had uh, sent me a comment yesterday asking if I'd previously uploaded yesterday's video. No, no, the gameplay was new. And I know the commentary was new because I literally had done it just a few hours before I posted the video. So, yeah, no, um, that was not a, a re-upload, dude. Uh, very rarely do I re-upload videos unless there's an issue with the video or something. And uh, when I do re-upload, the original video comes down. And I haven't uploaded anything that I had to re-upload in a while. So, no, this isn't a re-upload. This is a brand new episode, just like yesterday's was. Um... The reason I didn't sound very enthusiastic, and it may have sounded very similar to something I'd done before, is because unfortunately I wasn't feeling very well when I recorded yesterday's episode. In fact, I'm still not feeling well. And on top of not feeling well, I don't know what I did, but uh, I may have either a pulled muscle or something in my neck. So moving around is not exactly fun. In fact, even sleeping hurts right now okay i have been woken up out of a dead sleep it hurts so bad oh my god anyways welcome back you guys and um in today's episode i want to talk more about the campaign side of things of what we learned from the black ops 3 reveal that took place this past sunday now we know for a fact that the campaign will be cooperative yeah, you didn't hear that? Mm-hmm. Campaign's cooperative. Up to four people. Haven't done this since World at War. I am legitimately ecstatic about this. I have been... I've always liked the Call of Duty campaigns, but the thing that always killed it for me was there was no replayability. And I think this year they're really pushing that feature. They're really pushing the replayability in the fact that you can choose a different character every time you play through, you can play with your buddies, or you can play solo. Of course, you're gonna be able to modify the difficulty. You can adjust your class, and there's prog level progression, so as you play through it, you're gonna rank up. So ultimately, they've wanted to, to, to do this for a while, and I think the Treyarch is, it from all, you know, the way it sounds, is gonna deliver. But there is so much to talk about. I mean, we have a new movement system, and apparently the campaign is not on rails. Now, there will be sections of the campaign that are essentially on rails, and that no matter what you do, you're going to go through these particular actions. It's just the way the game's going to play. You know, they want to tell a story, and then when they want to tell a story, they've got to kind of put you on this rail system and go, okay, you go that way. Nope, 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 stay on the rails, you know. Which makes sense. Uh, when you're trying to tell a story, you want people to play that story the way you want them to play it. However, even though they've put small aspects of the campaign on rails, from what I've, I've read and what I've heard and what I've seen, it seems like they still wanted to give you a sense of choice and a sense of freedom and a sense of a sandbox feel so that no matter how you play it, it is going to be a different experience every single time and I'm I'm actually very happy with that I've it was something that I really wish had been better implemented in Black Ops 2 I enjoyed Black Ops 2 I enjoyed the campaign I enjoyed the the creative class feature being introduced and so on and so forth but I always felt like they could have done more I think they're really trying to push that more in this next game now something that I was, I, I wouldn't say was, it's more of something I am curious about. In World at War, they had these modifiers to increase the difficulty or challenge of the cooperative experience or even the solo experience. My question is, is that going to be an option in Black Ops 3? Are we going to have modifiers that you can unlock or pick up whatever it may be 
are there going to be modifiers available in the campaign? That's something that we're going to probably have to wait till November to find out, but as of right now, I am thoroughly excited, and I honestly can't wait to stop having to fucking boost jump everywhere. I'm going to say this right now. I I've been a very honest with you guys. I enjoy playing the game. There are moments where I I'm having a lot of fun playing this game, but then there are moments where I want to rip my fucking hair out. All right, it, it gets to a point where you're not in good gunfights. You can't get into a gunfight in this game. You really can't. It, it's pretty much whoever can move the fastest and get out of dodge and take advantage of sticky aim and all that other fun shit, you're going to probably succeed better. You're going to win the fight. And you're, there's no skill involved. It's just jumping and having a higher sensitivity. There's no skill in that. I don't care what anyone tells you. I don't care what you believe. There is no skill in jumping around like a goddamn fucking frog and shit. What the hell, man? You know, it, 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 I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want this experience anymore. I want the experience. I, I wouldn't say I want the experience I'm used to. Don't get me wrong. I think the innovation was necessary, but the the dramatic feature of boost jumping is really fucking annoying. And I actually got stuck there. Seriously, I actually got stuck. Um, so I just want to see that change, and it is changing, as we're basically getting the ascension, the uh, ascension, the uh, I guess you could say the assemblance of free running. Because that's basically what it is. Excuse me. We're basically going to get free running in Black Ops 3. Uh, you'll be able to run a uh, wall run. You'll be able to do all kinds of other cool stuff. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited for that. I've always been a fan of free running. And I've always wanted to see it in a Call of Duty. How it's implemented, I guess, you know, I'm going to find out for myself in November. But, um, I just... I'm, I really hope that this campaign delivers because I enjoyed Advanced Warfare's campaign. I did not really enjoy Ghost's campaign. I felt the Ghost campaign heavily was lacking. I mean, oh my god, was it lacking. Whew, it was bad. And, uh, god, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Um, you guys know how I feel about Black Ops 2's campaign. So, the last three Call of Duties, two of them hit for me, and one of them didn't. I really want a campaign experience that not only hits, but sticks. Right now, unless I want achievements, I have no reason to go back in and play Advanced Warfare's campaign. I, I'm not going to. Yet. Technically. But the modes that were offered in this game, I'll be honest with you. I still firmly believe that while... You know, Sledgehammer had the first quote-unquote three-year developmental cycle. They didn't really have three years to develop this game. And it's quite clear with how the boost jump system works. Um, and I don't know if I've talked about this before, but really quick, like, I want to throw this idea out there to you guys. What if instead of, and I'm pretty sure I did talk about this, but fuck it, I'm going to do it anyways. What if instead of being able to just boost jump, while, you know, wildly, what if the, the exosuit essentially was certain perks like lightweight or um let me think of another one demolition or uh hmm or not demolition uh flak jacket you know what if the t a lot of the tier one maybe even some of the tier two and tier three perks what if those were implemented directly as this is your exosuit you know, if you use lightweight, you can jump around more, you have more speed, whatever. I don't know, it's something that I think could have been improved upon and made the exosystem feel more unique. And another thing I really didn't like about this game, and I'm being honest with you guys, I'm still playing it, I still have fun playing it at times, but this is not a game I'm going to de dedicate any real huge amount of time to. And I, I say it jokingly, but it is probably the truth. I'm not going to reach max prestige in Advanced Warfare. I already know it. I'm not even going to keep trying. 
it's just there's no way 15 prestiges and the grind to get prestige is to get X XP is so bad you don't uh, uh, yeah no I'm more than likely in for a fact and I'm gonna assume this 100% right now because just looking at all the different ways you can rank up inside of Black Ops 3 yeah I'm pretty sure I'm gonna reach max prestige in that game I'm pretty sure of it in fact I'm banking on it because th if I don't reach max prestige in the next season of Road to Max Prestige I'm probably gonna call it quits for this series I'm just saying um, but uh, with this season coming we're not even close to end of the season yet we still got a while to go but uh, anyways, thank you guys for joining me kind of all over the place today. I will be back tomorrow with another one, and we're going to talk about the multiplayer for Black Ops 3. So stay tuned. I want to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on that. Until next time, adios. They really weren't using it as a way to improve the game. Obviously, this time around, that's what they're going to do. And uh, I'm, I'm actually happy for that. I'm happy that there's going to be a beta and that a lot of the stuff that's going to be overpowered in the first two weeks when the game actually comes out may or may not be there anymore. I don't know how much is going to be in the beta. I don't know if it's going to be a full, I guess, inventory of all the items you'll be able to use in multiplayer or there will be some items that they hold back. Personally, I'm pretty sure they're going to hold back some stuff. I just don't see them releasing a full beta. I don't know you guys, there's so much to talk about. Um, the fact that campaign is going to once again be cooperative, it's gonna be a different experience every time you play it. 